What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Chuckle Farm. This farm works on 1.19 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. Charcoal can be used as fuel for furnaces, blast furnaces, or smokers. Charcoal can also be used to create torches. As you guys can see here, this farm allows you to get a lot of charcoal. For this farm, you will need 4 chests, 1 redstone comparator, 1 redstone repeater, 6 redstone, 4 hoppers, 1 furnace, 1 dropper, 1 water bucket, 5 kelp, 1 soul sand, 1 solid block, 1 example of a solid block is cobblestone, and finally 26 glass blocks. The first step is to place down a block, then place a hopper over here. The nozzle of the hopper should be facing that block, then break this block. Now place a dropper at this spot. Make sure the dropper is facing this way. Now go over to this spot. Then crouch down and place a furnace on the hopper. That furnace will create charcoal. Now crouch down and place a hopper at this spot. The nozzle of the hopper should be facing the furnace. Now crouch down and place two chests over here. That chest will be where logs are put into the farm. The next step is to go over here. Now crouch down and place a hopper at this spot. The nozzle of that hopper should be facing the furnace. Then crouch down and place two chests over here. Charcoal will be stored in that chest. Now crouch down and place a hopper over here. The nozzle of that hopper should be facing that chest. Now place 6 glass blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then place 5 glass blocks at this spot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then place 5 glass blocks over here as well. Now place a glass block at each of these spots. Then crouch down and place a glass block over here. Now place water at this spot. That water should flow like that. After you have placed that water, go down here. Now place 5 kelp. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. By placing all that kelp, the water in this area will get turned into water source blocks. That will allow a bubble column to float up all the way to this top part. Then break the bottom kelp. That should cause all of the kelp to break. Then break this block. Now place the soul sand at this spot. The soul sand should create a bubble column. As you guys can see there, the bubble column should flow all the way up to that top area. If the bubble column does not float up to this top spot for you, make sure you placed all the kelp correctly. The next step is to place 3 glass blocks over here. By creating that water system, whenever charcoal gets dropped by the dropper, it will get sent up by the bubble column. It will then get pushed by that water stream into that hopper. That hopper will then funnel the charcoal into that chest. The next step is to break these 5 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then break these 5 blocks as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then place a glass block over here. Now place a redstone over here. Then place 3 more redstone over here. 1, 2, 3, then place a solid block at this spot, then place 3 glass blocks over here. 1, 2, 3. After you have done that, place 2 redstone over here. As you guys can see there, that redstone should get connected like that. Then turn over to this direction. Now place a redstone comparator at this spot. The two prongs of that redstone comparator should be facing the hopper. Now place a redstone repeater over here. The two prongs of that redstone repeater should be facing that way. By creating that redstone system, whenever a charcoal goes through that hopper, the redstone system will detect that, then send a signal to that dropper. That will cause the dropper to drop a charcoal. At this point, check this hopper to see if any kelp is in it. If there is any kelp in it, take it out. I am now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure you have made this farm correctly. The front should have that redstone system. Over there, there should be that furnace. This hopper should funnel downwards towards that furnace. This hopper should funnel that way towards that dropper. The dropper should be facing that bubble column. This hopper should be facing that way towards that furnace. That hopper should be facing that way towards that chest. Finally, in the back, there should be this bubble column. Make sure the water flows correctly. How this farm works is logs can be added to that chest. The logs will then get funneled down by that hopper into the furnace. By the way, don't worry if you don't have many logs because I will show you all a few quick and easy ways you can get a bunch of logs later in this video. You can then add a coal or charcoal to the furnace. That will cause the logs to start smelting. Whenever your log is smelted, it will create a charcoal. That hopper will then send the charcoal into that dropper. Whenever charcoal goes into that hopper, the redstone system will detect that and send a redstone signal to the dropper. That will cause the dropper to drop the charcoal. The charcoal will then get sent up by this bubble column. It will then get pushed by that water stream over there. That hopper will then send the charcoal down into that chest. The hopper will then collect the charcoal then funnel it into that furnace. Each log that is smelted creates one charcoal. Each charcoal can be used to smelt 8 logs. As a result, a lot of extra charcoal will be made. The extra charcoal will go into that hopper. It will then go into that chest. Over time, that hopper and chest will get filled with charcoal. Whenever you want to collect charcoal that is produced, you can collect it from that chest, that hopper, or the furnace. 
If you collect charcoal from the furnace, I recommend you leave at least one charcoal in the furnace. That will ensure the farm can continue smelting logs. I am now going to show y'all how to use this farm. To use it, first open this chest. Now add any type of logs to the chest. By the way, you can add any amount of logs you want. However, I recommend you add at least a stack. Now all you need to do is wait. Charcoal will be created, then sent up there. It will then get funneled down into that furnace. Once the furnace is full of charcoal, charcoal will get stored in that hopper. After that hopper is full, charcoal will get stored in that chest. This farm is a great easy way to get a lot of charcoal. When you want to collect the charcoal, you can collect it from that chest, that hopper, or that furnace. If you choose to collect charcoal from the furnace, I recommend you leave one charcoal in the furnace. By leaving one charcoal in the furnace, you will be able to easily start the smelting process next time you use the charcoal farm. As you guys can see here, I was able to get a lot of charcoal. To use this charcoal farm again, add logs to this chest. Once again, you can add any type of log and any amount of the logs that you want. The smelting system should start again as long as you had at least one charcoal in the furnace. I am now going to show you all a few quick and easy ways you can get a lot of logs. One easy way you can get a lot of logs is by planting spruce saplings. When you do this, I recommend you plant four like this, then bow mill it. As you guys can see here, that should make a large spruce tree grow. You can then mine down the logs. After you have mined the logs, the leaves will disappear. As the leaves disappear, there's a chance for you to get saplings. You can use the saplings to grow more trees. As you can see here, from mining one spruce tree, I got a lot of logs and saplings. Another way to get a lot of logs is by creating a large jungle tree. To do that, place four jungle saplings like this. Now bow me one. You can then mine the logs. After you have mined the logs, you can wait for leaves to disappear. You can then get some jungle saplings. Once you get jungle saplings, you can plant another jungle tree. As you guys can see here, I got a lot of logs and I am now getting some saplings. Another easy way to get a lot of logs is by making my tree farm. How it works is trees can be grown on the dirt blocks. This tower will allow you to easily get to the top of any tree. That will allow you to easily mine all the logs. Any drops from the trees that land in the water will get sent down into that collections chest. The link to my tutorial for this farm is in the description. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft Barrock Charcoal Farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.